This is a great shape to throw for beginners or advanced potters. They're quick to make on the wheel and easy to assemble. This could easily be thrown in a larger piece if you wanted to make a bigger bottle. I'll throw two plates and put them together to make a bottle. By centering, and opening up the wall, compressing the bottom, and pulling the wall up about an inch and a half tall. and measuring the circumference with the caliper tool to ensure that the two sizes will fit together. I'm throwing the bottle spout with a nice round lip that'll be good for drinking tea or putting a flower in it. Once the pieces are thrown, they'll need to set up until the clay is no longer tacky. And to assemble them, I'm scoring along the edge with a wire brush tool and brushing slip on the surface that will act as a glue to connect the plates. With pressure and friction, I'm connecting the pieces and rolling out a coil that will be used to bond the plates together. Cutting a groove along the seam will create a nice even space for the coil and pressing the coil to bond them together more thoroughly. It's helpful to trim the form to achieve a desired shape. I want the bottle to have a nice rounded edge so I went in and trimmed off some of the excess clay. I'll be creating this mandala by pressing into the clay with a few different tools. When creating a mandala from impressions, I find it easy to eyeball the initial four points to act as a guide, and gently pressing in the other points before making permanent impressions. You can also measure out where your points will be with a ruler and a compass like I did in my other mandala carving video. I'll continue to create impressions toward the center by using the points made from the first round as a guide. Creating mandalas is a great tool for meditation and a metaphor for many aspects of life and existence. They can be as detailed or as simple as you like and will be visually appealing either way. By creating impressions, in the other direction, it'll create more depth in the mandala. Using a combination of pressing texture into the clay and removing the clay, you can achieve variations in depth. You can also carve away the clay to create a geometric pattern like the one I'm doing with this small loop tool. It's important to have consistent pressure when carving to create a precise pattern all the way around. Creating mandalas is a great practice to learn different carving techniques. As you can see here, I'm using a larger loop tool to follow the natural progression of the pattern. It's time to attach the spout. It's helpful to trace the inside with a needle tool and cut out the opening. I like to use an X-Acto knife for precision. To connect the parts together, you want to score the area. I'm using a nifty wire brush tool to score the surface of each piece. Then brush on slip and attach the spout.
You want to smooth it in really nicely to ensure that the piece is bonded together and smooth it out with a sponge. Like, subscribe for more pottery and sculpture videos. Leave me a comment and share with a friend if you found this video inspiring or valuable. Thank you for watching.